Hello and welcome. My name is Eric and I work with the Systems Management Support Group at Dell EMC. In this video today, we're going to cover some basics on troubleshooting the Open Manage Server Administrator Web Server Service. The Web Server Service is what allows us to browse to OMSA and have our UI within our browser. So there are a couple of things to keep in mind when troubleshooting browser or web server issues. So first off is the port requirements. In OMSA 8.x and higher, there will be seven ports total that are used. Port 1311 is what the web server service listens on. And then there will also be six ephemeral ports that are used as well. As you can see here in this guide, we list these out. We also have two commands that we can run from command prompt that will give us the output and tell us what is listening on these ports. So if we run the first command, which is essentially looking for the PID number that the DSM OMSA connection service is using, you'll see that on this particular server, it's using PID 7228. So if we follow along and we use the second netstat command, we can find out what is listening on what that PID is listening to. And you'll see here that it's listening on port 1311. And then, like I stated, we have six other ephemeral ports as well. So this is what a good working instance should look like. If this port here is anything other than 1311, we could have a port conflict with another application and we could use Netstat to try to determine what application is using port 1311 so that we could further troubleshoot. Other things that could cause issues with the security and or web service not loading would be a DNS name. Uh, although Microsoft will allow you to have an underscore in your DNS name, it is against their policy. So if we do have an underscore in the name, it would be, you would notice it here when launching OMSA. And in this particular case, we do not. So OMSA will launch. If you do have an underscore, you can still launch OMSA by using the IP address uh, at colon 1311 or using local host colon 1311 if you are launching OMSA locally. There are some other things that could also cause issues uh, that you can troubleshoot by looking at your Apache directories. I have those open here as well. One of those is the Apache log file. You can look in the log file to see if anything unusual might be happening. The Catalina log is the base log and the most important one when you're troubleshooting web server issues with OMSA. One thing that we have seen uh, and will show if the key store DB file is corrupted is you might see something like this show up in the in the Catalina log. If that does show up in the Catalina log, you may end up having to delete the key store file and doing a repair on OMSA to repair the issue. This basically covers how to troubleshoot the web server service of OMSA. And this will be the end of the video. Thank you.